Welcome back, Andre Savage. Joining me now, my partner in crime, Dre. You were at St. John Central Catholic. The floor is yours. Well, hey, look, I won't have to be out here long, just like the Titans, because they didn't show up tonight, really. 60-47, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, was not indicative of the game, as it were. Look, early on, St. John showed positive signs. They come back with a 13-4 run. They was down 9-2. Again, they end the quarter 15-13. Second quarter, though, Tobridge begins to assert himself. Great game out of him, 12 and 11, so you like that. But then you have Mr. Cole, obviously, as you said earlier, 15 points from him. He got hot from three in the first half. I thought it would be a runaway in the third. St. John showed no life tonight. Mark Loving still with the three-point barrage. Five, uh, five threes out of the 20 that he scored. So that was deceptive. I need everybody to know that. I begged him play on the interior. I think St. John's could have been competitive in this game had he done that. That did not happen. So again, also without Austin Gardner, continuity shot. Yes. They look completely disorganized out there, look completely lost all night. And again, you know, central balance, uh, especially defensively. They were aggressive when they needed to be. And like I said, on the defensive end, they did the job. So again, Tobridge is 12 and 11, was Key. Cole again with the 15 big shooting night. Uh, Central was just a better team and, and you talked about it earlier in the week on game time. Uh, can Central win this league? Absolutely they can win this league. Uh, probably the strongest of the three. When you talk about Whitmer, St. John's, you know, uh, Central Catholic, they're easily, easily ahead above the rest right now. So, you know, I, I, I'm concerned. With St. John's, again, you got to get Gardner back in there. Point, point blank, end of story. Got to get some order. Uh, I was just disappointed. I mean, I've never seen a St. John's team look like this. I don't know what to make of this. This is one game. Obviously, they had been playing well coming into this. Loving showing signs of being aggressive. Tonight, didn't have it. it, it I'm just going to say they didn't have it, man. Central, you know, they did what they needed to do. Tonight, Everybody you know? has an off night, but is this indicative of maybe things to come? Or when the gardener comes back, who's out, the point guard for St. John's, out with a bad wrist, will things improve? I, yeah, they'll improve. But without Mark Loving being aggressive, we're not going anywhere with that. That, that is, It's that simple. Now, again, I think Central is going to get better. Tobridge is serious, man, and, and I just don't know how a kid makes this kind of improvement from, from sort of a, 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 a mediocre, mid-level man uh, last year, your garbage guy. He's an impact player now. Eric, I, it's that simple. The most important thing to remember, though, is you were right. Well, I, you had to say it. <laughs> I, it wasn't necessary. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to help the kids, he, man. That's all I'm here for. He's Andre Savage, host of Game 7 Late Night after Saturday Night Live. You can see him here on The Frenzy and on Game Time. We'll be back with a final timeout after the break.